Hello and welcome to the Chicory's Maintenance Series. This week we actually have to pull out the washer and dryer because back behind here is the vented loop for the waste system for the master head. And uh, it's starting to drip just a little bit and so we have to do some maintenance on it and the only way to get at it is move uh, the washer and dryer. Now when I put this in here, I knew that this was going to happen someday but there was no other place where I could put the vented loop above the um, maximum healed water line of the boat, which of course is required for a vented loop. So I was pretty much in a jam. I wasn't able to do it any other place, but this is one of the drawbacks of where it's located. I have to do this. So we'll show you along the way what it takes to remove this whole cabinet and pull everything out. Hang in there. This is the uh, ventilation for the engine room. You can see I have two 11-inch uh, fans that blow into the engine room, and this box is insulated for sound and thermal. Part of that is the wall that I need to remove. Uh, I have some um, insulation, both sound, uh, dead name, um, stapled to the inside of it, so I needed to remove those staples. And I have one screw here um, holding it to the wall, so I need to remove that as well. So that's the very first thing I'm doing. So you just saw me remove the screw from this step. So this is starting to loosen up. I have a screw at the top and the bottom, and that is all that secured it. It's just three screws, it just is held in place uh, because it's sandwiched between things. One of the things I need to do is just remove the headliner because you can see that this um, support piece goes up above. So I'm gonna remove the headliner, remove these two screws, I'm gonna remove the three screw, screws holding this toe plate in, and then pretty much it's loose. I may have to remove this box up here, but it's just a couple screws and it should be pretty straightforward. So I'll be back in a second. You can see the headliner is out now, so I'm gonna remove the screws. I'm gonna start with the toe plate. That's what locks it in from moving back and forth. Then I have a screw into the floor here. And then up here I have a screw into this cabinet. Now, hypothetically, this should be loose. And there might be one other screw holding it. I'm gonna search for the screw and I'll be back. So, I have the cabinet above removed, I have the wall removed, and I have the support. We ended up having to remove the support separate than the wall because there was a broken off drill bit that was scratching the floor. So uh, it just took a little bit extra time. So the time from when you last saw me to now has been less than 10 minutes. So though it looks like there was a lot going on here, as far as being time consumption, it's not a big deal. So now we're ready to slide this out. And once we get this out, I'll show you what we're going after. So the next step is here, as you can see, there's a uh, two inch PVC tube that runs through the wall there that goes underneath the galley sink and uh, the supply for water for the washing machine, the condensate drain for the dryer and the uh, wastewater uh, drain for the washer all go through that. And so all we're doing right now is shutting off the water, disconnecting these hoses so that uh, we can pull out the washer and dryer a little bit further to get access to the panel. So we've moved the washer and dryer out of the way of this access panel, and I'm just going to open it up. This hasn't been opened in seven years. And so what you're seeing here is this is the vented loop for the generator exhaust and this is the vented loop for the waste and i'm going to explain what is here on the top 
um, in just one second. So hang in there. So I want to explain what's going on. This is a three quarter inch vented loop. Uh, obviously the one that's there is inch and a half, but they all share the exact same valve. And so there's a valve at the top. Apparently I can't unscrew that one, but you can see that here is the rebuild set. I have a couple rebuilds uh, sets on the boat. So you can replace the cap and here's really the part that's failing. There's a little bit of a valve and I'm gonna open that up a little bit. Can you, I guess you can't see it, but Tracy will zoom in on me. So I can blow that way, but I can't suck. So what happens is this open end goes into the cap like this. And what happens is with the vented loop, as fluid comes through, it will stop um, a siphon from happening because air can flow this way and break the vacuum that's caused with the siphoning action. But the idea behind this valve, because it's pointed down, when you're pushing fluid under pressure from a pump this way, that little duckbill closes and won't let any air or fluid out of this valve. But once again, once that pump stops and the fluid flows out, the valve opens up and lets air flow in. So what's happening right now is this teeny little opening here has got a salt crystal or something that's jamming it and holding it open. So when it tries to close, when it's going under pressure, it's not closing and a little bit of liquid drips out of the top of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the vented loop. We're gonna unscrew that top, take out the valve, take out the cap, clean everything, make sure everything's perfect and put these new parts back on and that should solve it. So this is the valve we're talking about. Here's the vented loop. I'm surprised it spins off this easily. I didn't know if I was going to have to use a wrench. And I'm just gently doing this. Oh yeah, there's, you can see that there's a bunch of dryness on it. it looks like the valve is pretty worn out. I'm going to take a Q-tip and clean this hole a little bit, um, but it looks like everything's in pretty good shape. It's just this valve over the last seven years has seen some wear and uh, it's ready to be replaced. So I have Q-tips. Tracy put some Fantastic on the end and I'm just going down this tube and there you can, I can feel there's a little bit of restriction. So just scrubbing. Now, obviously all I'm trying to do with this is allow air through. That was the block. I'm just gonna clean all three of these. And this is coming out very clean now. I'm just gonna clean the edge. And this looks really clean. And then I'm gonna grab three more Q-tips that are dry. Not that this is critical, but I'm just gonna make sure that everything's dry in there and everything's the way I want it. As you know, this was uh, a little bit of a pain to get access to this, so I wanna make sure that it's done just perfectly. So everything, I'm very pleased with that. Now I'm just gonna screw the new one on and I'll show you that when that's done. So before I put the new one in, I wanted to show you the old one and you can see that there's just a teeny bit of spread in the duckbill lips. And you can see that there's some hard water deposits that have accumulated over time, making this a little bit stiffer. Uh, obviously not a whole lot of liquid could make it out of there, um, but it's just enough that it started to fail. And so we're gonna put this one in and we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so uh, one of the reasons I cleaned that out so well is um, the duct bill goes in down, so I didn't want anything there. Whoop. You can actually see it moving because there's some was air coming out. As the boat rolls, um, it as the boat rolls, the the level of water because this discharge is underneath the water line. As the water line goes up and down, um, it changes. Oh, I don't know if you can see it right there. The, the little valve was going up and down as we rolled. Um, so I'm just screwing it down. It is now um, 
not making contact with the top, but that um, built-in gasket, I'm now tightening it down. It's, it's seated now. And the valve looks like it's perfect. So that's this part of the step. Be back in a second. So everything's back together. We decided that it wasn't important for you to see us putting it back since you saw us taking it apart. But uh, the valve is replaced. We tested it. Everything's great. Uh, we returned everything the way it was. So that ends this project. Thanks again for viewing, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Until next week, bye.